Marilyn Monroe's estate is defending Ana de Armas' casting as the Hollywood legend in the upcoming film Blonde, after some fans took issue with their interpretation of Marilyn's iconic voice. Representatives for the estate released statements backing Anna on Tuesday, days after the first official trailer for the Netflix drama dropped. Mark Levin, president of entertainment at Authentic Brands Group, which owns Marilyn's estate, told Access Hollywood in a statement, Marilyn Monroe is a singular Hollywood and pop culture icon that transcends generations in history. Any actor that steps into that role knows they have big shoes to fill. Based on the trailer alone, it looks like Anna was a great casting choice, as she captures Marilyn's glamour, humanity, and vulnerability. We can't wait to see the film in its entirety. Nick Woodhouse, president and chief marketing officer at Authentic Brands Group, told Access that it's been exciting for the estate to see stars' different interpretations of Marilyn over the years. He added, there are no rules when it comes to how an artist can honor her legacy. We embrace new interpretations of Marilyn that pay homage to her iconic star power, beauty, and humanity, and bring her into relevant cultural conversations. Nick additionally shows support for Anna's voice as Marilyn, telling E! News, from what we have seen in the trailer, Anna has artfully captured the essence of Marilyn's voice. Marilyn was known for her breathiness, which was actually a tactic taught to her by a speech therapist during her childhood to help her overcome a stutter. Their statements come shortly after Anna made her debut as Marilyn in the first official trailer for Blonde. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma Jean. I'm still her when the camera's rolling. Several viewers took to social media to argue that the Knives Out star's on-screen accent wasn't a perfect match for Marilyn's signature breathy tone, while others defended her voice and argued that that criticism was misguided. Anna previously told the Times of London that she spent lots of time getting Marilyn's voice just right, saying, It only took me nine months of dialect coaching and practicing and some ADR sessions. It was a big torture, so exhausting. My brain was fried. Last month, the Grey Man star told Access Hollywood about her experience stepping into Marilyn's shoes. Uh, it was a long journey, very beautiful, very deep, very intense, and I cannot wait for people to see that because it's very special.